So uh, here we are on the famous wild pop in uh, Shrewsbury. Uh, very, uh, but, yeah, quite a famous for so the main route into town. You know, it's got you've got all these wonderful kind of timber frame, higgledy piggledy kind of buildings running up quite a steep street. Uh, I've tried to kind of exaggerate the steepness of the street by choosing a uh, portrait composition. Um, with the road kind of consciously S bending as it goes up, just to kind of give it that kind of individual character. bitten off uh, quite a lot with this one without realising it because I've gone for quite a conventional, very symmetrical, straightforward um, composition. It, I've really got to nail this perspective otherwise it kind of, uh, the subject matter collapses and with my approach of not, not drawing or working out the perspective uh, initially with pencil uh, we're just going straight in with the paint and kind of moulding the scene as I develop it up. Um, yeah, it's quite. A, it's got to be technically quite accurate, but uh, in a process that isn't technical at all, really. I started out with like the early, the early blocks of colour and uh, put this band of red um, across this kind of central area uh, to sum up these kind of autumnal leaves uh, without really kind of fully comprehending like uh, the significance of the, the red and the subject matter but with it being a, a war memorial and with the poppies in the fields symbolising the kind of spilt blood in the fields it's it's quite relevant to have this kind of strong central band of red across the composition now we're here we're looking at uh, Shrewsbury School uh, across the River Severn uh, from the bottom of the quarry park. Um, got this wonderful toll bridge uh, spanning the river. And some lovely kind of autumnal uh, colours going on. The leaves around. Um, we've also got the boat house across the lot of the way, which is giving a nice reflection on this willow. So with this one, I've um, uh, I've chosen a composition uh, which is very much a kind of a loop formed by a bridge that literally bridges the painting and its reflection. It kind of tunnels you in the angle of the school on the hill, tunnels you down uh, past the willow to this avenue. Brings you back around. I, th I think having this dark band across the top, which is the underside of the bridge, um, really like works as almost framing a view, uh, a kind of light view, and we, we very quickly our eyes want to go past the bridge and see what's kind of this kind of light, daylit view underneath the dark, um, almost like a, a vignette, a, a dark vignette around it. 